Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to a, another episode of For Those New Guys Among You to World of Warships Legends. This is the third part in the, the aircraft carrier saga, or as I'm calling it, the CVs. So, now we're finally on Saratoga, and this, by the way, the footage you're seeing in the background right here in this introduction is going to be at full speed. Uh, in a little bit, it's going to go to half speed because 4 minutes and 39 seconds is not fast enough to talk through a lot of things. So, I'm just going to kind of go a little bit of time here and tell you that this is a ranger game. So this is a higher level game. If I had another, whatchamacallit, I would, uh, if I had another thingy, carrier of higher caliber, or higher the caliber uh, level, I'd show you this too. Uh, in the first part of this video, by the way, you're going to see me going to my map a lot because I'm not paying attention to what the hell I am looking at on the map. So this is the Ranger. I'm swapping to my, eight, my HE bombers because these are the ones that do the most damage. 15,000! 15, 15,000 damage maximum, in theory. If I get, if I get the bomb real good, yeah, that's 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 as much as a stand, uh, as I think as the 16-inch uh, AP shells on, on the battleships. So yeah, uh, here I'm selecting my route to go to my square, and these are vindicators. If you looked before. Uh, on the Ranger at their stock dive bombers. They're quote unquote hell divers, but I don't know about you, but I know what a hell diver looked like. And the biplane ain't a hell diver. Right there, I actually pressed uh, right on my D pad, which is to call in fighter support. Now, you do that, say, if you're in a heavy battleship game and there's a lot of and the enemy aircraft carrier is harassing and haranguing your lower health um, battleships. Well, you could fly over them, hit that button, and be like, "Yo, boys from the Ranger, send out a couple of uh, send out a couple of the dogfighters to keep these bastard, you know, enemy planes, whether they be IGN or German or heck, even your own side, uh, having a bit of." questionable allegiance like uh, the USS Allegiance uh, during the Battle of Flamber ahead uh, Cookie if anybody knows who was the leader of the combined US forces over there but that's getting distracted although to be fair I'm not yet fighting so I guess it's all more in the bridge but it's it's important as, as you get higher up to remember which buttons are to what things. And I forgot that l right on the D-pad now does something. It, it happens. Well, to be fair, I'm not, I'm not upset about it. It's just, remember next time. Now something you can do, and this was done to me a few times, is you can actually call in fighter support as a screening kind of uh, maneuver. And actually have those planes take up the damage that your fighting planes would, would normally take. Now, is this a good strategy? Well, I would say not. Because, well, now you, so you have six runs of them. Uh, three for each of your, of your planes. Uh, three, three to each type of uh whatchamacallit of aircraft that you have on so dive bombers you get three uses and torpedo bombers you get three uses so uh, if you want to you can but mm. and something nice about the vindicators which really these are more like the hell divers if you want to be if you want to be practical uh is that they're fast and they also are smooth turning uh, slight problem with them though is that they do take a bit longer to tighten up so
That's that's a thing. Uh so I'm already at yeah. So I'm going out with more indicators here, and to be honest, I might actually just kind of let this play out at full speed. Although, I guess it does give me a good chance to actually double check what the hell I'm talking about, because sometimes I actually do forget that as much as uh, for those new guys among you t uh, to... For those new guys among you, is what it's actually called. As much of as this is a, you know, a beginner's kind of platform step, this is also for me as a, you know, mental review and check to see what the hell I'm talking about and if it's accurate enough. Uh, by the way, this was against bots, so that's why it's good. It was only like four minutes through nine seconds initially. Uh, so yeah. I actually might just speed up the rest of this footage, to be honest. So, give me a second. Ah, uh, no, that's better. We're back at full speed. So, uh,. I'm just gonna do a little bit of commentary here. We don't have 56 seconds left. So, here's a proper dive at full speed. You notice, Vindicators are very quick to get in. Uh, I, I regret not having Devastators. I regret not bringing out the Devastators. They're a little bit slower to uh, tighten up, but you can still do it pretty well. Uh, for Adrian and American, I suggest using the full extent of your range first uh, for your torpedoes to tighten up and then fine tune from there. That was the recall right there. They call us her planes back, as I said last video. And really, that's about it, I, I have to say here. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is for the Blue Guys Bungie World Warships, and get into that practice range.